Well, here we are at the scene of the crime again. Um, not too sure how much talking I'm going to do. I have uh, my one of my roommates with me here today, and uh, he's out looking at the uh, lake from a uh, different angle. Of course, you've seen me cover most of this area uh, in depth uh, in the uh, video I did called The uh, Great Lady. But I uh, felt like I needed to uh, get out and uh, do something today because I was getting absolutely incredibly frustrated with uh, Occupy Chicago. A lot of the uh, observations and ideas and concepts and what have you, uh, probably all wrong verbiage there. Uh, Most of the observations I've had of what's happened with Occupy Chicago uh, finally popped up and uh, kind of got stuck in my thoughts today and I vented quite a bit of it uh, on Twitter but mostly for the most part just kind of uh, let things go Um, the thing with Occupy Chicago is for the most part as far as I can tell it doesn't exist anymore Um, Occupy Rogers Park as I said, basically moved uh, downtown and is now keeping the name alive of Occupy Chicago, but it's not Occupy Chicago. It's not what was there, which is one of the reasons why uh, on the uh, 15th of uh, October, I believe it's the 15th of October, there were all of 70 people that participated in the Remembrance March for the first mass arrest at uh, Occupy Chicago. So, it gives you an idea what's going on. You know, it's, uh, what the hell. It is what it is, folks. It is what it is. I mean, you can't keep a movement like this alive when there is nothing but so much. Uh, bringing together of people who normally would have absolutely nothing to do with each other and can't seem to find a way to function. And uh, that's what has happened. And, you know, some people want to blame the hipsters and some people want to blame uh, folk like me, you know, the old white guys who can't do anything but complain. And others want to blame the unionist. And, uh, you know, some people want to blame the anarchist, and it's uh, kind of a whatever. So, anyway. Well, my roommate's caught up with me again, so I'll uh, let this go. But uh, that's kind of how my day's been. Decided I needed to uh, spend some time out here with the uh, sand and the waves and some veg time so that's what I'm up to that's that's my my video for the Friday I believe it is the 9th of November 2000 You can do that. No, not me. That looks like fun. I didn't see that for some reason. He didn't do a halo jump then, though, right? What do you mean? High altitude, low opening? Oh. Yeah. No. Not. For all that time I was down here taking pictures of the beach, uh-huh. this is the first time I've been on the beach. Today? First day? Really? Yeah. in the middle of a group, a flock of seagulls. (laughs) 
when uh, Sandy came through, we had a lot of uh, we had a lot of uh, wave action even here. Okay, question is, can we get out this way? Huh? I wonder if we can get out this way or if it's locked. Oh, it's not locked. No, actually, that would be 12, no, yeah, 10,000. Well, if it's, if it's roughly 10,000, 10,000 BCE was the end of the last glacial age, then 10, we're looking at, what, 10,000 plus 2,000, 12,000 years ago. People consider Florida tropical. Really, I would never want to go or something. much better days and it says Lincoln Park park open 6 a.m. to 11 by law the following are not prohibited in this park alcohol open fires littering parking on the grass or walks unleashed dogs sports leagues or large gatherings without permits please clean up after pets place hot coals in red cans so if there's no open fires how can there be hot coals See the park supervisor for a complete list of rules. Thank you for your cooperation. And with that, I bid thee adieu. As always, may your guide go with you. Bye-bye for now.